my name is Carla and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to do a mini review about a few Asian uh, makeup and skincare products. So first I'm going to talk about the Innisfree It's Real Squeeze Mask Green Tea Sheet Mask. Now these ones come in a pack of 10 which you can purchase from Strawberry Net um, along with all of the other products that I talk about today. Now this is my first time trying a sheet mask so I was pretty excited. Now the actual sheet mask is actually artificial silk and it feels quite um, funny when you first put it on. Well at least for me it did. This is my first time using a sheet mask. Um, it feels quite sticky and a little bit slimy, um, a bit weird. So after 15 minutes I removed the sheet mask and then patted the remaining product into my skin but it didn't really soak into my skin. Now I'm not sure if that is because I have oily skin. I don't have dry, I don't have normal or combination, I am just oily all over. So it might have been my type of skin that it just didn't sink into. Um, I even woke up the next day still feeling that stickiness on my skin. I feel like these would be excellent for someone with dry skin um, because they are so moisturizing. Next we have the, and I'm probably going to butcher this name, um, Laneage Moisture Trial Kit which has four little bottles of different things that they offer. Now I first used the uh, Power Essential Skin Refiner which is like a toner for your skin. It has a lovely fragrance to it. Uh, the next one that I used on my skin is the Water Bank Gel Cream. Now this one is for normal to combination skin types. So it suits my skin type a lot better. It sinks into your skin really well so don't be afraid if you have oily skin like myself. And then the last two bottles are just different moisturizers. The water bank essence uh, is for all skin types. To me it feels pretty much the same as the other one which is the uh, balancing emulsion for dry and normal skin types. These two are too heavy for my skin because I have oily skin. They're too heavy but they would be perfect for someone with dry or normal skin. Next up we have a product from Oti and this is the Multi Shine Base Secret Balm. Now when I first pulled this out of the box I thought oh my goodness this is so beautiful. It looks like a really super high-end product um, for such a good price. So you uh, pull off the lid and then inside the bottom half is the Multi Shine Base product. I absolutely love these type of, of pumps. So basically you pump this to get the product which comes out of there. I like to use it as a moisturizer before my foundation. Um, so I will take just a little bit rub it through my fingers, rub it all over my face. It has a really subtle, beautiful purple sheen to it. It is so pretty. And then in the lid is the concealer and there's also a nice little mirror in there which I think is a lovely touch. This concealer is very, very light so it's not going to be a good concealer for everyone. I have uh, NC20 skin so it's quite bright on me so I used it under my eyes today and it's a cream so it's quite thick. It goes on lovely with a brush. If you use your finger it can look a little bit cakey. It's also very pigmented. It lasts for probably around four or five hours and then it starts to fade. Uh, you definitely have to uh, set it with powder otherwise it will crease. But before I applied that concealer I used the Oshi Magic Glow CC Multi Cushion uh, foundation. Now this one says it's uh, it has an SPF of 50 plus which I think is fantastic. Uh, it's anti-wrinkle whitening and it gives the perfect coverage. Now this foundation is actually a pretty good match for me. I'm just gonna say the packaging is so beautiful. It's got this lovely design on the uh, lid. And then on top we have the little sponge that you use for the foundation and then a lid closing the foundation which I think is fantastic because it doesn't dry it out. And then underneath is the cushion system. Now I've never used a foundation like this before and I think it's fantastic. So you just get your little sponge that comes with it, you press into the foundation and then you just press it all over your skin and that's what I did today and it gives a lovely coverage. I wouldn't say it is full coverage and I wouldn't say it's light. It's definitely medium and it's definitely buildable. I was very pleasantly surprised with this foundation because I struggle a lot with foundation because I have such oily skin. Practically every foundation just doesn't work on me. But this one worked out really nice. It gave a nice 
natural finish. Lastly for my lips I use the Jill Stewart Lip Jewel and this is in the shade Cat's Eye Wink. Now this packaging is totally cute and totally me. Like it even has a little jewel on top which I think is perfect. The lip gloss is quite a sheer pink but it has a lot of sparkle in it. It is a doe foot applicator but it is quite large. The lip gloss feels nice and moisturizing, probably more so on the thicker side than thinner side but not annoyingly thick. It's a really pretty natural everyday color. So that is my review of a few different Asian beauty products. If you'd like to see some more reviews and tutorials, check out my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash a beauty whisperer. All of the products that I mentioned today will be linked below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.